now let's look at various types of performance testing normally we do in the market so let's look at the very first one the very common we do normally is a load testing load testing is nothing but testing the application with a fixed number of users to determine the application capacity so here we mainly look at how quickly application is responding in terms of the response time a response time is nothing but how quickly the application is responding in terms of seconds or it may be in terms of milliseconds okay let's say if we open the google.com page uh, let's see how it opens like it may be open in two seconds or three seconds so we can say that response time of a google page is three seconds so in load testing normally we give a fixed number of users to determine how quickly all the application pages are loading for that particular x number of users let's say our favorite shopping cart amazon.com so in amazon.com so you are uh, let's say we are we are open we are the owner of amazon.com so customer we are asking a performance tester to test what is the response time for let's say for 1000 users so here we give 1000 users for the amazon.com to test and see how quickly it is loaded by all these 1000 users so here the goal of it to measure the response time with a fixed number of users so load testing speaks also about response times and the number of users okay let's look at what is a stress testing or breakpoint testing some people even call it as stress testing is nothing but so we are testing beyond the limits of the application nothing but we will be testing the application unless until we see the application crashes either the crash point can be determined in two ways either it may be in terms of application is going down or the application is not at all responding this is the one point we covered and the next point is application is breaching the sla sla is nothing but service level agreement normally any industry or any organization will send set some sla sla is nothing but service level agreement means each and every page should be loaded within three seconds or five seconds the international standard for SLA is 5 seconds so it means all pages should be the loaded within 5 seconds so beyond this point or beyond this number of seconds user may be frustrated and he just will close uh, he, he will just close the browser page or he just close the application so it is the beyond this 5 seconds user may be frustrated and user may be feeling that application is performing slow so that's why they said is a standard metric for SLA so let's get back to the what is stress testing so stress testing as we just discussed can be derived in two ways one is based on the application responsiveness and another is based on SLA so if we consider responsiveness whether uh, application is been responding or not maybe sometimes if you look at some applications during you know uh, during some special sales when we try the applications they will be either loading very slow or you will see service not available error so these kind of tests to be carried out using the stress testing so let's look at the formal way of how we call the stress testing so stress testing is nothing but testing the application with unlimited number of users so the number of users are equal to where application is not at all responding or application SLA has been breached all that is about stress testing now let's look back about spike testing spike test is nothing bad we are normally starting the application with less number of load and we suddenly increase the load to either double or triple let's say we are testing an application with thousand users all of the sudden if we increase the load from 1000 to 3000 means there is a sudden burden on the application so this is just to see how the application is behaving when the load is being increased all of the sudden so this will provide us a detailed metrics like application capacity whether it can handle a sudden load or not so this pipe testing is normally done to verify the application behavior 
during some kind of special situations of sudden load okay now let's look what is about volume testing volume test is nothing bad let's say an application is being launched today so we don't know how much volume will be there after and after one year let's say while testing if we have the 1 gb of data in the database so after one year when the application goes live there will be a lot of data in me in the database nothing but while testing if we have 1 gb so after going for after going it live uh, we may be getting 5 gb or 10 gb of data in the db so the exponentially like the amount of data is been increased on the db so when more data is added to the db definitely it would impact the performance so the volume test is nothing but in increasing the number of records or increasing the size of the db and do a simple load test it is nothing but volume testing so the volume testing is why we conduct so volume testing is conducted to consider future growth of the db or future growth of the load and to see after x number of years the application performance is not deviating whenever the later database sizes become high so this is normally determined considering the future growth and the next one is a failover testing failover testing is nothing bad uh, let's say we have a uh, two data centers one is at usa and another one is the united kingdom so we will take down one of the data center or it may be in one it may be in one single data center and we will take one system out of the all number of systems and we'll see whether the active systems can be able to handle the load or not so this is nothing but we will take one system or one node or one data center down and rest of the rest of the available nodes or the data centers is able to handle the load and what is the impact of it whether the performance is been degraded or users are experiencing any slowness or users are seeing any errors or users are seeing any uh, kind of messages like server not available service not available and how long they will be available like how long users are seeing the errors so those are can be seen in the failover testing 